Activision presents a smashing blast, blast from, from the, the past. past. Indeed. Developed by Vicarious Visions. I ain't never heard of you. Uh, greetings. I am Cross Knight. It's Crash Bandicoot. And it's Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> it's a little bit dated, so, you know, the graphics are kind of blocky. You know, they didn't really get the, uh, the polygon thing. Oh, wait. Insane. Yes, this is the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I, um... I wanted to do a platformer next. In in my Discord, I was like, I'm thinking about doing Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy or Super Mario Odyssey. And um, literally everyone was like, what, uh, Crash, 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 Crash. So that, that made the decision for me. <laughs> Pop. Hoonwaga. It's Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, we have Crash Bandicoot and... Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. And the most powerful one. It's Crash Bandicoot Warped. Warped. Um, I'm going to be doing the first one, which is by far my least favorite one. But, you know, you got to start in order, right? For the youngins out there who may not know, Crash Bandicoot was Sony, like the Sony PlayStation's attempt to make a Sonic and Mario type mascot for their platform. He was going to be their Sonic. He was going to be their Mario. For a while it looked like he did it, but the franchise of course never reached the heights of either of those franchises. There's only a small handful of games. And I believe they're originally made by... Were they made by... No, like Naughty Dog. They were made by Naughty Dog. I think they made Uncharted. Now I'm just saying things without verifying it, but uh, a pretty legendary studio. Um, overwrite save. Ooh, disable autosave. Yes. Oh. Autosave is separate though, so it's safe. Whatever, I'll fix it later. It doesn't matter. But Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron, this bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex Commandos to world domination! This time, I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly, into the Vortex! <laughs> Dr. Cortex, <laughs> the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Uh-oh. That's his Prepare voice weird. the female bandicoot. <laughs> and that's that. That, uh... That intro was not in the original, by the way. I think they just start you out. I mean, so what is the plot exactly? I don't know. I beat the game, um, and I'm still not entirely sure. I think um, Dr. Cortex, who's an evil scientist, does experiments on animals, L.A. Dr. Robotnik, and, uh, like, really is a Sonic clone, isn't this? Um, and, and is trying to use them to take over the world with some garbage, and Crash is going to be his greatest creation, but then he got out, so. I, is that why I have super spinny powers, or did I have them before? I don't know. So, you might have already seen the basic gameplay. There's jumping, there's spinning. That's how it works. Um, there's certain enemies that can only be killed by jumping on them. There's certain enemies that can only be killed by spinning. And some of them get killed by both. The biggest gameplay thing that makes it really hard to get 100% though, are these boxes. After each stage, you're graded by how many you break. If you break them all, you get a thing. If you break them all, um, actually you don't get a thing. You have to break them all and not die. That is the ridiculous thing that they decided to add. The other games don't make it so that you can't die. You can die as long as you get all the boxes. Um, and for that alone, I'm not getting 100%. Like, that is incredibly aggravating on some of the, the uh, hard stages. Um, whoa, almost fell down a cliff. Whoa! 
All right, now can I hit every single one of these boxes, I wonder? I did it, but I almost did it. <laughs> now, I, see how I'm missing two boxes? I think they're back on the other path I didn't take. Now, here's an annoying thing about Crash. Um, wasn't really designed to walk backwards, and yet they sometimes make you walk backwards, which is kind of a jerk move, I think. Um, I almost fell off the cliff right at the end. That would have been great. <laughs> but there we go. First stage, perfect. You're not going to see a lot of that. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. That is not going to be the norm. In fact, this might be the only gem that I get. It's possible. It's possible. Because this game, oh, this game, it's a bit of a toughie. Um, let's keep going. I remember when I first heard about this remake, I, I played the original first one, which I'd never played. I've only played the other two. Uh, spinning TNT is deadly. Try jumping on it instead is the tip they just gave me. Um, and yeah, it was, stu it was stupidly hard. Um, I don't know if they did anything to make this one a bit easier. Um... I think I just had more patience. Well, I'm invincible, so I can just run through the TNT. Uh, I do believe the TNT counts as boxes, though. I think you do have to blow them all up. So. Um, and the way you get this invisibility is you get three of those Ooga Booga masks. They count as your life bar, essentially. Um, you can take a hit if you have an Ooga Booga mask. If you get all three, you become invincible. You run faster than you normally could and smash through everything for a few seconds. Um, it's usually hard to do that unless you have a mask from a previous stage that you're bringing to the current stage. Now, this is a colored gem square. Um, there are, I think, I've, are five of them in the world. If you get them, then you can go to a place that you couldn't get to otherwise. Um, I might not even be able to get all of the boxes without getting that. I'm not sure if that's the case, however. I think there are situations in the second game where that's the case. I don't remember if they do that in this one. But, chain reaction slam dance. Okay, and then there's the, the... I wanted to call her Candy, but isn't that... Isn't Candy Kong, uh... Donkey Kong? I think it is. Woo! <laughs> Stay away from all that. That one's very easy to mess up, because if you spin dash uh, dynamite, it explodes and hurts you. But So you have to hit the middle one, and then it moving also explodes it, so that's what I did there. Very precise little move. Whew. Boom. Bonus stage. Acquired. Whee! Alright. Now, if you want to get all the boxes, you do need to get the bonus stage, because there are boxes in the bonus stage. And, nicely enough, they tell you uh, how many got boxes you got, so you won't miss any. Or, at the very least, you'll know if you missed any. It's usually obvious, but... Whoa! Stolen. <laughs> but, yeah, they're a good place to get extra lives. And, of course... 100 Wampa Fruits, I believe they're called. It's hard for me not to just call them apples. I might just end up calling them apples. Um, again, Extra Life. Standard stuff. Name me a, a platformer where that doesn't happen. There's a lot. Don't name them. <laughs> doesn't happen in Braid. Now, I missed three. Was it because I missed them or because I needed to get that gem? I don't know. Here's the worst part of the first game, though. And whoever designed this is a jerkwad. If you don't do perfect, the amount of boxes that you didn't get land on your head, which means you can have a really great stage or finally get through a hard stage, and it's like, good job, but you screwed up, Jack. You missed all these boxes. You ain't perfect. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. And it's discouraging to have negative reinforcement every single time you beat a stage. I hate it. I, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Um, like, and in the punishing way, too. Like, the more you miss... The, the more, like, it seems to hurt Crash. <laughs> like, it's terrible. Anyway, for these, you just hold the button down, and you'll jump way higher on them. And I'm invincible again. I've, I've, this is the best I've ever done. So I'm sure the recording will, like, stop working. Um, but since I haven't died at all, or even been hit, um, I keep on getting invincibility at the beginning of the stage. It's pretty cool. Now that you spin, it goes flat, you jump on it. If you don't go fast enough, though, it will spin back to a point where you can't get it, or can't jump on it, so... Gotta be fast. I th I'm pretty sure that's uh, Crash Bandicoot's uh, uh, motto. Gotta go fast. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I'm remembering that right. Now, crouch? Can I crouch jump? No. 
I can't get that box. The only way I could get it would be to jump on an enemy. Um, but I killed that enemy. I murdered him. Which is too bad, because invincibility would be nicer. <laughs> then I think I could just rub up on these spike things instead of getting hurt horribly. But alas. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. There we go. Get out of here. <laughs> Extra life. Which I have 14. Yeah. It's good to stock up lives, too. Hey there, monkey, monkey man. Woo! Oh, God. Out of here. <laughs> Nerve wracking. I just. <laughs> that's, that spike was touching my nose. Hut! Bonus stage! I also think in the original, you could only save at a bonus stage, which is a ridiculous thing to do. Like, why? <laughs> uh, that'll create all the boxes there. Go back and get that one. Peep, poop, flip, flip, flap. Two more. There they are, filled with extra lives. So yeah, there's all my spoils. That's how many fruit I got, that's how many boxes I got, that's how many lives I got. Woo! Oh, all right, I've been hit. And I don't know where those, bo okay. I think I do know where those boxes are. They're there. I would need to get that gem platform. So like, look at them punishing me. I don't even have the option in order to get those boxes. Ugh, ugh. I ain't do anything wrong, man. I'm just trying to be the best bandicoot that I can be. Yo. Uh. How do I do this? System options. Oh. Trigger. Okay. I mean, there's my old file. I, I beat the game only having 64%. So, save. Also, I found it really easy to accidentally load my save instead of saving. So that's something to watch out for. <laughs> it's all based on which button you press, I believe. Fortunately, since there's an autosave, every time I did that, I was able to go to the autosave. Note there's an arrow of apples pointing this way. This is one of the stages where, like, you know, there's nothing too crazy right now, right? That I've done, like, that's too unique. I feel like this is the first time I ever saw a game do this type of thing. Uh, a 3D stage where they had you run away from something. That's what Crash is kind of like most iconic for mechanic wise, I would say. Um, is the like the backwards quarter. Now the thing, and they didn't really change it for this version, it, it can be hard because look how little lead time I have. <laughs> like the camera's not that far out. So it makes things difficult. But you know, it's fine. What? I'm saying this will probably be the stage of my first death, where they put a platform in a place I don't think it'll be, or... Yeah. Or I just don't go fast enough, also possible. Whoa! Oh god, yep, there we go. First death. <laughs> um, so now, even if I get... This is, this is why one of the biggest reasons, as far as completion's sake, no way in hell. Um, even if I get every single box, I will not get the gemstone that shows that I got it. Why? Don't know. Don't know why they decided to do it like that. They demand... This is a game that demands perfection. And if you don't get it, they will yell at you. They will physically beat you into the ground. I'm wrong. It gave me the gem. What? <laughs> Have I just been spreading false information? Okay, here is the thing. I absolutely remember doing a stage where it said, you got all the boxes, but you died, and it didn't give me the gem. And I am incredibly confused. I hate it when I give incorrect information in videos like this, but I'm telling you, my lived experience is that it said that message. I'm going to have to look this up to figure out. Like, I'm not crazy. This isn't the... um. Is it Dunning-Kruger effect? I don't... Th 
What's the one where people think that there are alternate realities that they're living because the information in their head is different than everyone else's? And then other people agree. It's like the Berenstein Bears. There's a group that thinks that remembers as a child that it was called the Berenstain Bears or something. Someone knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just don't have the words to remember. I feel like it's Dun and Kruger. Dun and Kruger would be something else. Is Dun and Kruger the thing where the more skill you get, the more skill, the, the less skilled you feel because your wealth of knowledge is enough to get you to realize how little you know? Whatever. <laughs> None of this matters. All that matters is not getting eaten by a fish. Now, can I spin attack the fish? Yes. I had to test that. Uh, okay, <laughs> just made a jump for it. I was like, it seems like a bad idea to jump with this piranha plant, but they're not giving me a choice, so. You just gotta jump in, jump out. Jump in, jump out. Jump over, jump under. Cool. Now, I feel like being invincible on this part might be quite detrimental. <laughs> So I'm glad I wasn't visible. Look at all those those platforms. How do I get them? Hmm. But just getting gems, I don't know. Okay, so some of these plants oscillate, like attack at a rhythm, and some of them close when you jump on them, and it's determined by color. I don't think I ever observed that before. So good, good to make note of. This one's a little bit of a puzzle. If you're, uh... Wanted to get one of the higher ones first so I didn't get locked out. But considering we saw all those platforms, like, I'm not, I can't get 100, right? Here. Whatever. We try our best. Um, I do want to try to get all of the colored gems, though. I'm gonna have to look up where they are. I found, I think, uh, zero out of however many there are <laughs> on my original playthrough. I would like to find at least some. <laughs> Put. Oh, you're oscillating. A three. There's three left. Aggravating. Oh, well, I think I've collected every box that I was able to get. So that's something. But they're they're, they're also just forcing me to backtrack. Like, uh, you you better get unlock a platformy thing and then go back. Puma puma. The first boss looks like a native of this island. I mean, I feel like an intro. I am so sorry, sir. I don't know why I'm here. I should have just walked by your hut. All right. Looks like... All right, that's simple. The boss battles are actually pretty good for what they are in this, too. Um, they're not that complicated. They're, you know, they're, they're all pattern recognition-y. I mean, this one's not too great. <laughs> oh, he hit me. One more, and then you're done. Yeah, no, that boss was terrible. But some of them are pretty good. Huh. Boom! <laughs> Is that why I came in here? Crash was like, I need a stomach. A stomach gelatinous enough to propel me forward. <laughs> You'll do. And then I proceed to assault the man. Um, look at that. It's Coco's time machine. Coco is Crash's sister. She appears as a non-playable character in the second game, and I think not at all in the original game of this. But... Because the developers are cool and wanted to give you options. You can actually play as Coco. Coco has the special ability to be exactly the same as Crash, but with uh, less death animations. <laughs> Which is a bit lame. Um, but I, um, I appreciate the option. I think I will switch to her sometimes. Um... It does in my head kind of ruin continuity-wise. Uh, in the second game, it makes no sense that you can play as her because she's obviously in a different place. That's why it's a time machine, though. She traveled back in time. Um, and it also just kind of ruins the continuity of like being one character and going through all the trials. But again, I like the option. You don't have to use it. You, you can even say no to the time machine, and she won't even be an option unless you come back here, so you won't even have to think about it again. But options are never bad, especially when you can ignore them if you don't like them. But I like it. In any case, this is the first episode. I'm going to try to do it, um, you know, each time I get to a boss. 
However, there's probably going to be times where the episode is actually shorter than that because something takes me a million times to try. Um, but yeah, that's that. I got a few things to look up. One is, why do I remember getting all the boxes on a stage and then it telling me, but you died. That'd be something that'd be good to know because <laughs> that didn't happen that other time. I definitely died, right? I'm uh, crazy. In any case, I am Cross Knights. Thank you very much for watching. Observe characters from every game that I have played in the last 10 years, minus several, but a, it's a lot. most of the major ones are there. Maybe I should just sneak Crash in there. Yeah, maybe he's made it just under the wire. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode where we move on to um, save Girl Bandicoot. Is that our? Is that the plot? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Run, spin, jump. Thanks for watching.